guys, it's Multiplier, but with Plugin Boutique looking at Cataract by Glitch Machines, I'm going to show you first some of the presets and how it works, but then I want to show you how we can use the randomized controls to generate new sounds. It's what we call a generative process because we start with some source materials, hit the randomized buttons a few times and generate brand new sounds. It's a really fun way of working and I'll show you all about how it works in Cataract. But first of all, let's run through a few presets so we know what sort of noise this thing can make. We'll have a look at the preset selector and choose a few randomly. It makes all sorts of sounds from glitchy, drummy, percussive sounds through to textures and particle sounds and even drones and all sorts of cool things. Let's have a look. <laughs> As you could hear, lots of cool little noises, lots of cool little sounds, lots of sounds you haven't heard before, but let's actually see how this thing works. Cataract is essentially broken up into four sections. We have the samples, which are our source sounds, our source material. We have the blue ones and the green ones. In other words, a left side and a right side. We then have a morphing section, which is almost like a crossfade between these two different samples, which we can also modulate with these other morphing parameters in the middle between these two different sample layers. And then we have this whole middle section, which is essentially how we process or modulate or manipulate these source samples. An important thing to note is when we're manipulating the blue side, the blue samples, we have a blue bar on the left hand side of the interface and all the parameters are blue as another visual clue. Whereas if we want to manipulate or process or modulate the green samples, we click one of these green samples, say the top one, and notice what happens to all the controls in the middle when I click it. Notice now they are all green and they changed and there's also a green bar on the right hand side. This is really important when working with Cataract so you don't get lost. You know at any given time exactly what samples you're working with. And finally, we have the footer section at the bottom. This gives us global access to things such as the presets in general or maybe randomizing all the parameters at once, which is something I'm gonna show you in a few moments time. Now, one of the coolest things about Cataract is we can work in what we call a generative way. In other words, we generate random results by generating random values for certain parameters. And we can control that with all these little Gs you see floating about. So you see there's a little G, say over there, and over here, and over here, and so on. If we take this G here by the cutoff position of the filter, then if we selected that G, every time we played back a new bit of the sample in the sample player, it would basically generate a different value for that cutoff position, and as a result, we would filter the sample in a different way. It's a nice random way of working, but we can take things one step further. We can generate random values for all the controls at once, and we can in fact even generate random samples by loading up a random sample every time if we like. And to control that, we look at the randomize section at the bottom right. First of all, let's load up some random samples by hitting this randomize samples button, the question mark SMP. And you can see now it's loaded up three different random samples from the included set of samples in Cataract. We could maybe hit this button a few more times if we want to select some different samples. And then we can randomize the controls with this question mark CTL button to the left of it. But you may notice if I click it, nothing happens. And that's because we need to set a percentage for the randomize when it comes to controls, which we do by dragging this parameter. So if we drag it all the way to the extreme, then it will generate a really random value for every different parameter. Check this out. See how it's a completely random value every time I trigger the randomize the control. However, sometimes if we get nearly to a sort of sound we want, we may want to just randomize it a little bit. And to do that, we could pull back the random slider to maybe a few percent or so. And then when we hit randomize control, it will change it just a little bit. So if we get near to a sound we want, but it's not quite there, we could do this where we have slightly less random and then randomize the controls. Notice now as I'm hitting randomize, it's changing a smaller amount every time. 
And we can actually randomize the samples and the controls at the same time with this randomize all button. So I'll select it a few times and see what sort of weird noises come out. As you can expect, because this is a random process, it takes some trial and error to find just that right sound, but it's a nice quick way of generating these brand new noises. I mean, it didn't take too long and we already have this really quirky, really interesting texture come out. Check this out. Maybe turn it up a bit. I really like that. We could chop it up, maybe use it to layer up with some drums or even layer it up with a bass or do literally anything we want with it, I suppose. There are lots of genres where we need interesting sounds all the time and brand new sounds that aren't just the same old noises from the same sample packs that everyone else uses. So this is a really nice way of doing it in a fun, generative way. Let's try a few more just for fun. So what I could do is record all this experimentation as an audio file and then chop it up into one shots or little loops to get it to fit into my track. And there you go, that is a look at Cataract by Glitch Machines. I've been Multiplier, thanks for watching. Thank you.